Welcome to the Unraveling the Scriptures channel. The Bible is a work filled with mysteries and secrets that arouse the curiosity of many readers. One of these mysteries involves fallen angels and demons. Many wonder if the fallen angels, according to the Bible, are confined in eternal chains awaiting the final judgment. Then, who are the demons who supposedly possess people in modern times and carry out such disturbing acts in today's world? This is the question we will address in this video. I ask that you stay tuned until the end and, if you find it relevant, consider giving it a like and sharing it with friends and family interested in deepening their knowledge of the sacred scriptures. With that said, enjoy yet another video from our channel. Who are the demons that possess people in the world? If someone questions a Christian about the identity of demons, they are likely to always mention the ancient angels who were once of light but turned evil. This is the origin of demons according to the Bible, originating from the fallen angels who rebelled against God. This ancient story is mentioned in the book of Revelation, which describes the celestial rebellion. The leader of this rebellion was Satan, the first angel to fall. The passages that speak of this rebellion are mainly found in Revelation chapter 12, starting from verse 7, describing the war in heaven between Michael and his army of angels against the dragon and his angels. However, the dragon and his followers were defeated and cast out of heaven, becoming demons. The great dragon, also known as the devil or Satan, was cast down to earth, along with his angels. These angels who were with Satan became demons, enemies of true humanity, beginning to torment men in various ways, tempting them to sin, such as idolatry, lust, greed, among others. The identity of fallen angels is a topic that has been addressed in various religious and cultural traditions over the centuries, being most prominently discussed in the context of Christianity, Judaism, and Islam. According to Christian tradition, Fallen angels are those who followed Lucifer in his rebellion against God. Lucifer, also known as Satan or the Devil, is often portrayed as the leader of the angels who turned against God. The narrative typically associates the fall of these angels with an act of pride and desire for power, as they sought to equal or surpass God. The specific identity of fallen angels varies depending on the religious or literary source. However, it is common to mention names such as Lucifer, Beelzebub, Asmodeus, Mammon, among others, as representative figures of fallen angels. In Jewish tradition, fallen angels are often referred to as Nephilim, a Hebrew word that can be translated as fallen or those who fell. These are seen as angels who descended to earth and mixed with humans, resulting in a race of giant, powerful beings. This interpretation is found in the book of Genesis and in apocryphal texts such as the book of Enoch. In Islam, although angels do not have free will and cannot sin, there is a belief in beings known as jinn, who have free will and can be both good and evil. Some Islamic scholars associate jinn with fallen angels. However, doubts arise in the minds of most biblical readers because there is more than one text that categorically states that fallen angels are imprisoned and cannot escape. This can cause confusion, especially when the Bible mentions their imprisonment. Later on, I will present some verses that deal with these spiritual beings being restricted, and interestingly, there is some confusion even among theologians due to divergent interpretations of the texts. Some of the various texts that mention the imprisonment of these spiritual beings are in the letter of Jude and the second letter of Peter. Peter writes that God did not spare the angels who sinned but cast them into hell, committing them to chains of gloomy darkness, to be kept until the judgment. In Jude, it is described that the angels who did not stay within their own position of authority, but left their proper dwelling, are kept in eternal chains under gloomy darkness until the judgment of the great day. Considering these verses, we can conclude that demons are indeed imprisoned. And this raises an intriguing question, if demons are imprisoned in hell, guarded and unable to escape from there, then who are the demons that afflict humanity today? Who are those who possess people and manifest themselves in grotesque, monstrous, or even as beings of light, 
deceiving and misleading individuals in different parts of the world. Demons are often described as spiritual or supernatural beings endowed with evil powers. In some traditions, they are portrayed as grotesque creatures, with horns, wings, tails and other frightening features. They are often associated with concepts such as temptation, sin, suffering and destruction. In Abrahamic religions, demons are seen as opponents of God and agents of evil who seek to divert human beings from the path of virtue and righteousness. They are often portrayed as responsible for influencing people to commit sinful or harmful acts. In many religious traditions, specific rituals and practices are developed to deal with demons and protect people against their influence. A common example is exorcism, a ritual performed to expel demons from a person or place. Some Bible scholars make a significant theological mistake by not recognizing the possibility of angels being restricted in their ability to torment or possess people. This misconception stems from their refusal to admit that there were not just one, but two angelic falls. Yes, you heard it right, two distinct angelic falls occurred. The first, of course, involved Satan, the fallen angel. The second is mentioned in the book of Genesis, chapter 6. It is interesting to note that the older versions of the Old Testament, along with the Jewish communities preceding and succeeding the era of Christ, recognized and discussed this second fall. It is reported that the sons of God intermingled with the daughters of men, resulting in a mixed offspring that merged with demonic entities. From this union arose the ancient giants, monstrous creatures that were feared and considered aberrations both in post-Diluvian and pre-Diluvian times, reaching heights of up to 13 or even 14 feet. This second fall of the angels resulted in the corruption of these celestial beings, leading them to become evil and spread distorted teachings among humanity, including the practice of magic and witchcraft, which are abominable to God. It is known that such practices were introduced by the fallen angels, specifically those who followed Satan. These angels, who joined forces with Satan, are responsible for teaching magic and witchcraft. Additionally, in the second fall, they also transmitted various precepts of witchcraft and sorcery. However, it is important to differentiate between the imprisoned angels from the first fall with Satan and those from the second fall. The angels who were imprisoned are those from the second angelic fall, known as the fall of the sentinel angels. These sentinel angels engaged with human women at some point, leading God to imprison them, probably after the great flood, when he decided to lock them up for causing turmoil in humanity. God sent the flood to destroy a world that had become corrupted, in part due to their actions. However, when it comes to the demons that possess people and cause chaos in the world today, they are the angels from the first angelic fall. Therefore, the answer to this question is yes, it is the angels from the first angelic fall who unleash many afflictions in the world today. However, according to the book of Daniel and other writings, it is mentioned that only one of the fallen angels resides in each nation around the world. This is evident when discussing the prince of the kingdom of Persia, the prince of the kingdom of Greece, and so on. In reality, there is only one fallen angel in each country. But who are these demons that possess people in various parts of the world? Many possessions are recorded, and among various theories, the Dead Sea Scrolls and ancient Jewish visions suggest that the demons of lower hierarchy are the spirits of the offspring of the giants, which are considered as the unclean spirits of lower rank. According to ancient Jewish writings and the Dead Sea Scrolls, the demons that torment humanity originate from the first angelic fall, with fallen angels associated with Satan. The angels of the second fall, who mingled with human women and gave rise to the giants, were chained by God in eternal chains. The offspring of these fallen angels from the second fall became unclean spirits, as declared by the Dead Sea Scrolls. These unclean spirits have plagued humanity over the millennia. Satan and his demons from the first angelic fall are present in every nation of the world. The high-ranking demons, such as principalities and powers, along with the lower-powered unclean spirits, are known as the spiritual hosts of wickedness, which are the spirits of the Nephilim. 
I thank everyone who watched the video up to this point. Please leave your likes and share with others who have an interest in biblical texts and the mysteries surrounding demons, angels, and the spiritual world. May God bless you, and see you soon.